All right, Shalom Yashua. First and foremost, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Love and honor to the apostles, the great millstones. Still go out to the highways and byways and stay diligent and keep on feeding the flock. And peace, blessing, and mercy to your Akims out there pushing the chips in the four corners of the earth with sincerity and boldness. And uh, speaking of boldness, I want to go into this wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous stand in great boldness before the face, for the face such as if afflicted him and make no account of his labors. So, the, the who the uh the righteous, which is talk about uh the elect, Lord willing, we are that number. The righteous are talk about the um the men who go out to the highways and byways and who preach the truth for Yahweh by Shimiyah Shah in the name of Yahweh by Shimiyah Shah, you know. And who gets persecuted for Yahweh by Shimiyah Shah's sake, you know? That's what the righteous was talking about. Because the scriptures does says that we have to rehearse the righteous acts. And who's rehearsing the righteous acts? The righteous men. So the righteous men are going out to the highways and byways preaching the righteous name, which is Yahweh by Shimiyah Shah, and get per and get right, 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 righteously persecuted. Because when you get persecuted like that. You know, you pleasing Yahweh by Shimon Shah to get in your crown, you know? Persecution, affliction, temptation, you know? So the more you get persecuted, the more you get uh, afflicted, you know, the closer you get to Yahweh by Shimon Shah. The more hell you catch, the more Yahweh by Shimon Shah is dealing with you and increasing you and making you more harder, you know? So, we, so the men of the Lord, you know, we go out to the highways and byways. And we don't give a shit who sees us, man. We don't give a shit. You know? You know, you go to the office of the Anybody can see you. Anybody can roll up on you. Anybody can kill you. Any The police can throw you in jail. Uh, you can have a mob of people beat up you or beat you up. But we don't give a shit about that, man. You know? Like, who gives a shit, man? Like, who, like, who, like we're living in this life anyway. Let me get that precept. Hold on. I like we're living in this like like, like 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 this is called like like this is paradise or something, man. This place is hell. The scripture says that we we have gone the the Israel's is going into captivity because we have no knowledge, man. So let me let me see if I can find that scripture. Um, let me see. Well, this is one of the this one of the precepts. This is Ecclesiastes chapter six verse two. Oh, Slocky. Verse 7, verse 2, Slocky. Chapter 7, verse 2. It is better to go in of the house of mourning than go into the house of feasting. So it's better to be mourning and suffering now than to be feasting and living comfortably now. Uh, now. Because this kingdom is going to be destroyed, man. So why the hell you want to feast in this country if you know it's going to be destroyed? That doesn't make any sense at all. You know? So, where you about to go? Okay, so, you people, man, you people are going to be destroyed, man, for living comfortably in your cap, especially you Israelites, who gives a fuck about you in other nations, I'm talking about you Israelites, man, because you Israelites, you were brought here to be punished, not, not to have fun, this place that you call America is supposed to be hell, because it's your punishment, you know, you begin, we're being punished right now, we have not got out of time out, so to speak. We ain't got out of time out yet, man. Y'all by Shimon Shah is still kicking our asses because you still got these stupid idiot two thirds out here still want to bullshit and commit all types of spiritual fornication against the Yahweh Shimon Shah that he's just kicking your ass, man. And then the longer you do, the longer they keep doing that, basically the more we stay here, man. You know. But luckily, Yahweh by Shimon Shah's man. Uh, is a just power that we don't have to suffer what the two thirds suffer, man. You know that uh, that the the, the elect when the elect gets sealed, we're gonna get the hell up out of here. You know it ain't like gonna be like an Egypt where all of Israel is gonna be delivered. Hell no, two thirds of Israel is gonna be destroyed, man, and rightfully so because you niggas, you niggas, and you nigga women, you Israelite men and you Israelite women, you two thirds, man, y'all, man, y'all piss y'all by shimmy y'all shot off, man. And y'all do it willfully, man. You just you just willfully do it. You know? But uh let me see if I can find that uh that scripture, man. That's a good scripture. There it is. This is the Wadiya Bashimel Shah. 
This is Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 17. Therefore I hated life because the work that is wrought, wrought under the sun is grievous unto me. So therefore I hated life, man. I hate this fucking life, man. I gotta, I gotta work for the so-called white man, which is the biblical Edomites, the basis of all men are fucking faggot by nature, a pedophile. I gotta, see, I gotta work for this nigga, for this guy. And then I gotta, I gotta deal with you fucking two thirds. And then I gotta deal with the fucking demons. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like it's hard, man. You got, you got, you gotta deal with your damn infirmities in your body and shit. Your damn back be hurting. You know what I mean? You get headaches. Like what the fuck, man? I, you just constantly go through hell. Like you go through hell, man. But that's a good thing. That's a good thing to go through hell, man. So like, I didn't know it was that dark. It's a good thing to go through hell. You know? Because like I said, this is what we were brought to America for to be uh to be punished, man. So you're supposed to hate this life. You're supposed to hate this because what you're gonna gain by hating this captivity is trying not to go back into captivity, man. Even though this is gonna be our last one, we're gonna be like, man, the wadi habai shimyon sha, man, that I don't have to go through that no more. And I don't wanna go through that no more. Because this 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 place is so much of a hell that we're gonna think about this place, we're gonna be like, damn, man, that place was hell. I do not wanna go back to captivity again. Which we're not because the scripture says that we, he's going to write the law on inward parts. So we're going to be perfect. You know? And uh, it's grievous to me, which means it's hard, man. It's hard. You know, it's hard to wake up. And certain brothers got to wake up earlier in the morning, like around like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Just like school. And then work from f like 4 o'clock in the morning to like 6 o'clock in the afternoon, or so to speak. So where, what's, where the hell's the rest and all that shit, man? Where's the rest? You know what I mean? You got uh, you got the elderly working just like a full time job, man. People like in their sixties. Why the hell are people in this? Why are the elders, the senior citizens, working a full time job, man? That's hell, man. That is hell. And you got this goddamn concrete everywhere, so that fucks up our damn bones, man. That fucks up our muscles. You know what I mean? My damn leg be hurting and shit. I'm like, what the man? What the fuck, man? So if I know I be feeling it, I know the elderly brothers be feeling it, man. So it, it, so we hate this life, man, because everywhere you go in this captivity, it's nothing but a damn hell. It's hell, man. That's why we got to get the fuck out of here, man. I don't get why people want to stay here, man. We got to get the fuck out of here. For all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Yeah, it's vanity, man. It's nothing. This man, this these cars, these women, these this so-called American dream that these niggas be chasing, man. It's vanity. It's not worth a damn thing. We're chasing stuff. We're chasing something that is greater and beyond this fucking kingdom, man. We're we're chasing for the kingdom of heaven where everything is gonna be perfect. Everything is gonna be perfect. You know. Ain't gonna be no man diseases. Ain't gonna be no more body aches. Ain't gonna be no more vaccination spirit. Ain't gonna be no more pollution in the water. Ain't gonna be no more pollution in the air. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta worry about your damn woman talking about you. You ain't gotta worry about your woman leaving you. You know what I mean? You know, you ain't gotta worry about no fucking obesity. Uh, you know, cholesterol and all that shit, man. So you're not going to have to worry about that. And this is vexation of spirit, man. Because if you're not vexed in this hell, man, then you need, like the scripture says, and think of 2 Corinthians 13 or 5 or 1 Corinthians, examine yourself. You need to examine yourself, man. Because this place is hell. And we, like the, man, we're vexed every day, man. I can't stand, I can't fucking stand this place, man. I can't fucking stand these people. I can't, stick up, I can't stand these heathens. I can't stand these two thirds, man. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, this place got to go. It has to go. I fucking hate this life, man. And, you know, and I can speak for a majority of the brothers that speak in the highways and byways that they do too. You know? But with that, I want to give all praise, honor, glory to you. I'll buy shimmy, I'll shy. Double honesty, apostles, a great millstone. Peace and bless you, have mercy to you. I give that that puts the two four corners of the earth. With that, Shalom. Salakia if it's too dark if you can't see me. But hey, Shalom. Thank mm -hmm. you.